Kick the gears in. <laughs> What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again, and today I'm going to be talking about is Riot Blockchain a buy or not? And this is coming from the perspective of a cryptocurrency miner with over five years of experience in cryptocurrency mining. I have built and maintained mining pools with a group of other developers. I have also mined for five years, and I'm also familiar with trading cryptocurrencies, and I'll give you guys a little bit of a perspective on what I am looking for in investments. That being said, I'm not a financial advisor. This is primarily coming at it from the perspective of a cryptocurrency miner and my thoughts on it. But before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is BlockFi. BlockFi provides financial products for crypto investors. Products include high yield interest accounts, USD loans, and no fee trading. With BlockFi, there are no hidden fees, just a return of up to 8.6% APY that starts accruing immediately, plus compounding interest every month. Committed to trust and transparency, BlockFi services comply with comprehensive state and federal regulations, and they use Winklevoss's Gemini as their primary custodian, wrapping layers of industry-leading protection around clients' assets. To facilitate this transparency, BlockFi allows me to mention that they are centralized and there is a potential for loss. So as with any investment, do your own research. Personally, I have funded over 4,000 USD equivalent in Bitcoin to my BlockFi account and accrued additional interest on top of my mining rewards. For a limited time, you can earn crypto bonus of up to $250 when you open a new account by visiting the link in the description, blockfi.com slash son of a tech. All right, welcome back. So what is Riot Blockchain? First of all, that's the first thing we got to answer. And from what I can tell, Riot Blockchain is a Bitcoin mining farm. That is pretty much about it. So if you're a cryptocurrency miner, you're kind of like, oh, it's, it's not that big of a deal. And yes and no, it's not that big of a deal, right? It's essentially just going to be a Bitcoin mining farm. And then it is US based, which is kind of the big portion of that. The reason why a US based Bitcoin mining farm is a big deal right now is because there's currently a hash power war for Bitcoin between the United States and China, with China pretty much leading the, leading the, not the charge, I guess, leading the hash power though. They have pretty much all the power uh, in existence for cryptocurrency mining. Obviously, it's also going to be a lot easier for China to do that because they primarily manufacture all the ASIC miners that mine Bitcoin. And that's something we can talk about as well. So before we do though, let's talk about Riot here. And you can go to their website at riotblockchain.com. And scrolling through it, the first thing I wanted to point out is that we have a claim of 1.45 exahash online by Q2 of 2021. So if we go to a hash power calculator here and figure out how much that is, that's this much giga hash. That's a lot of giga hash. So then of course we need to go ahead and head on over to what to mine. So if we go to what to mine and plug that in, that is $517,000.28 a day in revenue. So obviously with that kind of hash power, they're going to be able to basically make a lot of US dollar converted from Bitcoin. That is nine Bitcoin per day that they'd be generating with that kind of hash power. So yes, that is going to be generating a lot of cash flow. Of course, you need to take into account their operating costs which uh, with a farm this large is going to be astronomical. So they have to worry about that as well as maintenance and making sure that all the ASIC miners stay up and running at all times. So there's a lot of work that goes into a mining farm, especially at this scale. And so if you think like, oh, that well, that's a ton of money. Yes, but a lot of that's going to go back into operating costs. The thing that makes Riot Blockchain even more interesting is that they're publicly traded, which is why we're talking about, is this a buy or not? All right, so why are we talking about buying them? Well, you can buy stock in Riot, and if you take a look at their chart, they have definitely skyrocketed in the past few months. And that is primarily due to, well, it looks a lot similar to the Bitcoin chart, right? Okay, so if we take a look at the Bitcoin chart, it looks almost exactly the same as you can see here. So if you take a look at the Riot chart, 
and then you take a look at the Bitcoin chart, they look almost exactly the same. And this is kind of the point that I'm gonna attack it from. So if you are going to be investing in Riot, its price is going to directly correlate to the price of Bitcoin because all they are doing is essentially manufacturing more Bitcoin. So if the price of Bitcoin goes up, the price of Riot will go up. And so from your perspective, you should be deciding on whether you're going to buy Bitcoin or Riot. Now, due to obviously a lot of the stuff going on in the stock markets with the hedge fund managers and retail investors versus institutional investors, and that's kind of leaking over obviously into cryptocurrency, you just want to keep in mind that it's going to be just as volatile as Bitcoin. There's not really going to be any difference in the price correlation. So if you're looking at buying if you're looking at buying Riot blockchain shares, I would just suggest buying Bitcoin instead, personally. Another thing that I'd like to point out is I am not typically in a certain stock or cryptocurrency to just buy it and hold it. I don't think that's a smart plan, especially if you're a retail investor. With your investments, you should be looking to generate revenue. That's what I look at. Once again, not financial advice, just from my perspective. And seeing that Riot doesn't offer any dividends at this time, you're not generating any revenue. With Bitcoin, like we showed with the sponsor at the beginning of the video, you are able to at least get that like six to 8% APY on top of it by adding to something like that or putting it in, in, into compound. There's a lot of different ways that you can leverage your Bitcoin to make you a additional income right and currently with riot there really isn't a way to do that what is the significance of riot though and that's kind of what we need to talk about the significance of riot is that it is a fight against china for hash power on the network and as a cryptocurrency enthusiast you would hope for more decentralization but one of the problems with asics is that they are developed and built in china as mentioned before and because of that no matter what the newest ASICs by and large will be put into Chinese mining farms way before they make it into the hands of Riot, which means essentially all of the Chinese mining farms will always be one step ahead of the U.S. mining farms. And until there's a manufacturer of ASICs in the U.S., uh, that is able to do full production and keep up with somebody like Bitmain, that's the way it's always going to be. I would be a lot more interested in a company building ASICs and manufacturing them completely in the U.S. than I would be in a company that's buying miners from China to mine Bitcoin stateside. So that's kind of my thoughts on Riot. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Riot down in the comment section below. Is it a buy for me? No, because it doesn't generate any revenue. That's pretty much end of story. If I want to add another kind of tick to that, I'm pretty sure it's going to follow the price charts of Bitcoin. So why wouldn't you just buy Bitcoin? I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.